before we go, I know I run out of time, but condolences to all those families who lost little babies. Last count, that says 21. Petronella Manning, I'll ignore your statement to say that people like us who fight for the children, who fight for, to make sure that the Ministry of Health improves and ensures that whether you're poor, middle income, rich, everybody could get a chance to live, a chance at good health care, that the Minister of Health is a complete blithering idiot. For you, your PNM doctor, to come and say that people like me who are really upset and have heard that the resources are not being given to the nurses and doctors and that the information was trying to be stymied and, and silenced and secret and babies are dead, that we are vulgar, we are trying to benefit. Not us. The country needs to benefit from the removal of an incompetent dunce minister of health who has overseen too many deaths of children that are preventable. It's not an accident. It's incompetence. Incompetent pegs in wrong holes. In Davlin Thomas, in WRHA, the Minister of Health who cannot pass a pharmacological exam. That is what we are fighting for. Change. When, when Kamala is Prime Minister, your specialist doctor is Minister of Health. The RHAs will have doctors around so they can understand, work with those qualified specialists and ensure that practices are put in place, that leadership is there, that, that attention to detail, make sure that people don't have to go home with an empty bassinet and an empty blanket. Shame on you, Dr. Manning, to come and play politics and your son or somebody, some mayor, Port of Spain. Why do you uh, tell me about what's going on with the fraud accusations there at Port of Spain Corporation? You come to say that people who are highlighting, remember this only came out because of an express article weeks after the babies were dead. People are fighting. So you saying that every case that is brought of malpractice in the US or UK and so on that has been brought for 40, 50 years, all of that was vulgar when it caused processes and doctors and hospitals to improve and to make sure that people's lives are respected. That's called vulgar, Dr. Dr. Petronella. Yes, the parents are grieving, but you are saying that us talking and empathizing and supporting them and ensuring that none of us have to go through that pain to ensure that those in charge, when you come for politics, when you say you want to lead, when you want to be a minister, you have to be bright, you have to be competent, you have to be have heart, you have to be efficient, you have to manage well. The Al Singh is an incompetent clown. He is the minister of death. Run it. Doubles and coffee. The minister of health. Your minister of health. For the last eight years and eight months. Came to you at a press conference. Read a brief from Unicot that he boasted he got from Unicot to say at the Coover Children's Hospital built by Kamala Pasad Bissessa and ready to be opened since 2015 before the election where PNM stole the election. That Minister of Health, Terence Dial Singh, the Minister of Death, read from a document and said that he has now been briefed by Unicot to say that the Kuwa Children's Hospital does not have a NICU, does not have an intensive unit for newborn babies, preterm and so on. Doesn't it worry you that a man has been in charge of a portfolio for eight years and eight months and he requires a brief, first of all, from Unicot. So he never went to look. He never went to check. He didn't read a brochure. He didn't read any specs on the Coover Children's Hospital which falls under his purview and was built to save the lives of children. He need a brief from Noel Garcia and Udicott. Then when he get the brief, he actually went and read out an erroneous false brief. And therefore for eight years and eight months, he did not know that he had added facilities to protect our children. To give them a better percentage chance of life, of living, better technology, 
pristine conditions that may have prevented the decimation and the tragedy that we are facing here with 11, now 12 babies dead. And then this Terence Diaz comes in the Senate and tells the opposition that no independent investigator will be tolerated. There's no space for independent investigators, that they must do it internally. So you, the people of Trinidad and Tobago, your pain, your sorrow, the family's pain, the tragedy, we will only get answers from an internal investigation, himself unto himself, PNM investigating PNM. And the head PNM is so dotish, she doesn't even know what assets are under his purview. Eight years and eight months later, don't take my word for it, you know. All they will say the dogla lie, that no human being could be as dotish as the minister of death, Terence Dianson. Well, watch this. Run it. I have a brief from Udicott which says, as far as the Coover Hospital is concerned, there was no NICU. This is the neonatal intensive care unit. This is where, at the Coover Children's Hospital, we will offer care for our nation's most vulnerable. What you see here is a neonatal incubator. This offers a cocoon-like environment with optimal thermoregulation and protection from external factors. At the Coover Children's Hospital, we have two dedicated nursery areas with a centrally located nurse station for optimal monitoring and supervision. Also unique to the hospital are these viewing windows behind me. This is where the relatives of the infant can meet them for the first time. The PNM could play games with 21 little babies, 21 little angels dead, and you playing politics, and a doctor, because he's a PNM playing politics. The Coover Children's Hospital was there, built by Kamala Prasad Bissessa, outfitted with state of the art, with NICU, for baby, for neonates, maternity ward, delivery, surgery, cesarean section, anything and everything under the sun for the people of Trinidad and Tobago. The malicious, vindictive, sickening, heartless, nasty, evil PNM leave the hospital closed because Kamala built it. And now you have 21 dead babies. 2018, you had seven or eight. And you are coming to say that that's okay. And for us to be to make the point that this cannot continue, that people with competence, people who study, professionals, uh, this was on the heels of the COVID-19 debacle and fiasco where chief of staff and specialist doctors were so perturbed and put off by the idiotic management of people who had no medical qualification whatsoever. People were dying in the HDU. People were dying in the ICU at 94% death rate. You had to go in the ICU with a suit because you're coming out casket sharp, dead. And you think this is a game? Babies' lives? But tell us to shut up so the parents could grieve. God bless the parents. I can't even imagine the pain they're going through. And I hope no other mother has to go through this because this is preventable. The Coover Children's Hospital was there, built by Kamala Prasad Bissessa, ready to save children so that people could get at every income level the best health care. The PNM sucks. And if any of you could vote for that, shame on all you. Good night.